Anyway, uh, so Venom. Venom, October 5th. See, Venom is, Venom's a weird one in general, because he's one of those guys where I, the character itself, I never felt would be one to be able to do a standalone movie. Hmm. Okay? And not because uh, they did like a, sh almost a really shitty job in Spider-Man 3, because I, I still feel like he should have been on the peripherals, and then you see him become Venom at the end of Spider-Man 3. Leading Spider-Man 4. And then Spider-Man 4 is just 100%. like... Almost completely Venom. Like, you yeah. can maybe have another couple of the lowball villains, like mm -hmm. a Shocker. Not Vulture. I know they were pushing for Vulture in Spider-Man 4. Um, but, that, I mean, that comes... you got to blame Sony. They had this huge erection for Venom. They sh made Raimi shove it into the movie. Exactly. He had Vulture in there. Yeah. Pulled it out and put Venom <clears throat> But that's what there. I mean. Spider-Man 3, and there's a... <laughs> Not just Venom mm. and Venom's portrayal. Because Venom's portrayal in that movie is actually pretty good when he's Venom. Yeah, like right. when, he's Venom. when he's Venom. Topher Grace is good as an ultimate Eddie Brock. Because mm. Eddie Brock wasn't the muscle builder or bodybuilder he was right, in the right. regular universe. So uh, when they did that, and I was like, okay, that's fine. And I liked how the symbiote mimicked the Spider-Man suit like it did. Yep. right? So it was just a black version. Um, and they did a lot of right. However, visually, what we get in this movie looks way better. Mm -hmm. Granted, I would have liked more drool around the teeth and the yeah. tongue and shit, yeah. but I mean, the fact that he's got the jaggeds and he looks really The good. end of that second trailer was just like, we are Venom. I was just like, oh. And, and I like that they're that having him actually yeah. like, talk to each other, like he's talking yes, to the suit, exactly. the suit's talking to him. Got that voice in his head the whole time. I love that. I do love that he goes, like, we are Venom. I thought that was really cool. One of the problems I have with this movie is that, like, it's Venom is, I mean, yeah, okay, so in the early 90s, late mid to late 90s, he was a, more of a good guy, like a legal protector of yeah. his, his first miniseries. Yeah. Um, but, like, he started off as a really bad guy. Like, he at one point was going to leave Spider-Man on an island. Mm -hmm. He was going to kill him on this island, and then that was it. So his whole purpose of being was to kill Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. But having him be his own movie, and I love Tom Hardy. I really do. And I think having Tom Hardy in this movie is a really huge coup for them, especially because he was originally attached to... Uh, Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, that's right. He was Suicide attached Squad. to Suicide Squad... He dropped out of Suicide Squad for this movie. So for that guy, he's got a pretty good eye for, for the most part, for scripts and stuff. I mean, uh, we're at war as a exclusion. Yeah, I least. mean, I mean Tom, Tom Hardy's done a lot of uh, Oscar-type films. He's a talented actor, but he's also a very physical actor. His Bane is really good, yeah. even though it's not necessarily the Bane from the comic books. He did a really good job for it. And for a guy that's like... yeah. It's like Tom Cruise or or even like uh, Josh Brolin where he's not that tall. Mm -hmm. You don't realize how short he is that entire movie. He just looks huge. Yeah. And that fight scene with Batman, he looks like he's towering over Batman. So, yeah, yeah it's trick photography and stuff like yeah. that. But you wouldn't believe it if he wasn't owning it. Like Brolin. Brolin looks bigger than he is. Mm -hmm. Right? It's only until he's uh, side Until deadly. you see him standing upside deadly. It's like, wow, he is tiny. Um, a couple of things, though. Um, it was Michelle Williams signing on to this, so where I went. And that's well, the other maybe thing, Maybe this too, is going to be good. But then again, Natalie Portman did sign on for Thor 2. Uh, yeah. No, well, she was on a contract for Thor 2. Okay. Fair enough. Fair I mean, enough. I can say that. Rachel McAdams did Doctor Strange. <sighs> there. All right. All yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. But regardless, okay. I want this to do really well. I really do. I don't, I, it's not going to do a billion. If it does a billion, I'll be amazed. This won't do a billion. I will be fucking amazed. If this does 750 million, I'll be surprised, but I won't be like, holy fuck. Is this PG-13 or R? Um, I believe this is PG-13. Okay. I think it's going to fall somewhere in between Ant-Man's 500 mil and Deadpool's 700. That's my gut feeling. I, I, I think feel it's like kind of like six hundred mil. Yeah, um, which is still huge. For this, it'll be huge. Yeah, I hope that they didn't go batshit on the budget. I don't think they did. 
But see, the other thing is, is that like uh, merchandise tie-ins are going to be tough with this character. Mm -hmm. Yes, Venom is a popular character, but not as popular as he was in the early '90s, late '90s. Like even now, there's Venom, there was Agent Venom, there was Anti Venom. Venom's never really been as huge as he was. Okay, I understand why they want Venom out there. Venom was a huge character. That's why they totally revamped Spider-Man Three. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like this one, because the other thing too is that they're already talking about script issues with just that full trailer that we got. They're already saying that there are script issues. Yeah. And I think that, barring anything unforeseen, because we haven't seen another trailer since that, um, a couple of things that I don't like, I don't like the, um, it almost feels like it's a body horror flick. But I never ever got that impression from uh, from Venom. See, I I figure I I like it because if they were gonna do Venom without Spider Man, I thought body horror was the way to do it. Daniel Way did this run in the early two thousands for that Marvel tsunami thing that they tried doing there with the with all the anime oh, and stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. Or manga, whatever. Um, yeah, it was manga. That's yeah, it. so. Because anime is the cartoons. They, they did that, yeah, anime is anime is animation. So he did that run, and it was like the thing with the the Arctic, the symbi symbiotes. 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 Yeah, okay. Symbiotes. Thank you for mentioning that. There's something I, I won't that. like about and the And I remember movie. just immediately being like, I literally went, wait, what? Yeah. No, 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 symbiotes. Yeah. All I've ever heard, all I've ever seen her pronounce is symbiotes. Mm -hmm. She says symbiotes. I hope that's just her. And that's it. I hope it's just her. She's the only one saying in the movie that might have a problem. But then again, now that I think back, how many other people said symbiote in the movie? Yeah. Or in the trailer, just her. Yeah. So So we'll uh, see. But anyway. Okay. But yeah, no, that run was great. It was like the thing. It was a body horror type thing where people are getting killed and, and infected. And they had like the uh, what CGC, the chemical people of the States. Oh, okay. Uh, they, I, I don't they know. They went up to the Antarctic and they were like quarantining people and stuff. from the <laughs> Like it was such a cool run. On Venom? On Venom. Really? That's how this run started. With No Eddie Brock. Okay. So uh, when they said they were going to do it without Spider-Man, I was like, that's the way to do it. Okay. Something along that line. All right. All right. I mean... I mean, how else... I want it to do good, obviously, because then we get a Spider-Man versus Venom movie. Yeah, I mean, if, it, if, it does huge, if it does huge, Marvel's going to look at that and go, well, I guess we can... But that's the only other thing. Well, I mean, Marvel doesn't have... As, I don't think Marvel has as much say with what they do with Spider-Man as so much as Sony has right, the say. Right, right. Like, I mean, I think their relationship is a lot more amicable now because of yeah. the numbers that Homecoming did and the reaction that everyone had for Infinity War. So, obviously, I think that's going to be well. I mean, the, only, the other thing is, as much as I want to see a Spider-Man versus Venom movie... Like, the thing is that it's going to be tough to do because he's going to be presented as more of a, not even a lethal protector. I mean, he may kill some people, but I don't think he's going to kill too many. I think he might just kill the big bad guy and that's it. Mm -hmm. And even then, I don't even think it'll be, so, maybe not so much Brock doing it, but it'll be Venom doing it. Yeah. They might play it up as he's still kind of torn instead of them being like, no, 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 we're Venom. We're going to eat brains mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's it. Remember, he, he he loved brains. He loved brains. I, I don't think we're like, go down the brain So path. that part there is, I feel like if if they're not careful, we can get into Batman v Superman territory. It, yeah. Okay. But right now, the first teaser trailer that didn't show Venom, everyone was hating it. I was kind of like, I, I mean, I like it. It, I, was, it was a tease. I was okay because it's a tease. I didn't expect I was, to I was see Venom right, right away. And then they I did, did the, not expect they to see did the other right trailer away. that revealed Venom at the very end. I was like, you know what? This is looking pretty sweet. It did look pretty sweet. So as of right now, I'm pretty pumped to see it. I'm tempered. Right now, I'm tempered. You're tempered? If uh, the next trailer comes out and blows my pants off, then... Your geek pants? Of course. Oh. You're on it. You're on it. Um, then yeah. then I'll, I'll definitely get behind it. I mean, I, like I said, I want it to do good just based on the premise of getting yeah. him in to, you know, the, the Spider-Man universe. Right. Especially because, like, even just how bright and sunny Homecoming is versus uh, how, like, dark Venom is, it'll be a nice little, like, it'll literally be night and day mm -hmm. for those characters to clash together, so we'll see. But, I mean, they shouldn't mind too much of the comic books. Yeah. Because, like I said, at one point he was going to kill him on an island, mm -hmm. you know? But, anyway, so, so. I'm pumped. Uh, tempered, not as nearly as pumped as you are. No, I, I'm pretty psyched for it. I've been digging Venom more lately. Like, the new 
Venom run right now by uh, that writer Donny Cates and Art uh, Ryan Stegman. Fucking so good. Really? Yeah? So okay. good. Who's uh who's Venom in that one? Is it Brock again? It's Brock again. Yeah. That's right, because Flash they're, Thompson was killed off. They're in, introducing uh, like this Amazing Spider Man eight hundred. Like the symbiotes have been on Earth before, like in the medieval ages, and they like mm-hmm. they really dive deep into the history of it, and it's really cool. So then, actually, you know what? If this does really good, then we can introduce Carnage. Carnage, then Carnage we, is in this. That's right. Woody that's Harrelson's right. Because it's Woody Harrelson. I forgot all about that. That's now, right. whether he's really in this or if it's just Cleus casting, and we get a little tease of the Carnage at the very end. I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with that too. If they too. went the Spider-Man three route with this, then yeah, then at least because right then you could have, you could even have Venom two, and he can't beat Carnage by himself. Yeah. So he enlists Spider-Man's. <laughs> yeah. You know, but or yeah. Morbius, Jerry Leto. Spider-Man Enter the Spider-Verse. That's a pretty good segue. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, Enter the Morbius. No. Okay. I really don't want to see. Okay. But the problems I have with Venom are, like, with Morbius alone. First of all, Morbius isn't as well-known as Venom. Mm-hmm. Okay? Even though Venom's height was 20 years ago, mm-hmm. he's still got enough of name recognition, especially because Spider-Man 3, so that was, what, like, 10 years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Spider-Man 3 still kept him in the loop, and it's he's still been, in, like, heavy into the comic books all the way through. Morbius, however... Uh, he's never been big. He had that semi-high uh, in the early 90s when they did the Midnight Suns. That's right. But you would have to have been but that into was those that comic high. books. That was you would high. have to have been into those comic yeah. books. The only reason why I even read those comic books was because uh, the guy I was friends with, Ryan, was into the Spirits of Vengeance, okay, cool. into the Night Stalkers, yeah. and stuff like that. So that's how I came familiar with the comic books. The concept, I like the concept. But the characters, too, is not well-known enough. Yeah. And Jared Leto, while a fantastic actor, I don't feel his name is big enough. You can't bring him money like that. To be able to justify this movie. Mm-hmm. Okay, so even though that's not for, that's not in this. No, it's not in this. It's, I'm just saying for the sake of, sake of argument, that's a movie that will not get made. If no. it does get made, it'll bomb terribly. Because I said that to Michelle, and she goes, oh, uh, I don't even know who that is. And yeah. I'm like, it's kind of a convoluted story. She's mm-hmm. like, what do you mean? I could tell you, I mean, he's a living vampire, and she's like, what the fuck does that mean? And I went, well, he's a human. Let's get into it. Who, uh, he had some sort of blood disease, Mm -hmm. and he spliced himself with vampire bats to cure the disease, and it cured the disease, but it turned him into a vampire. A bat like human. Craven blood. Craven blood, and he's a good guy. Yeah. I mean, I, I did read the first couple issues of his Morbius run where he had like that. Leather mm-hmm. suit, and he was killing bad guys. That was that. Rock, art was crazy good. Art was the good. direction was a nice idea on yeah. it. It's just yeah. Yeah. that'll never get that'll never get made. If that gets made, I'll be amazed. If that is like, I, I want to do this again next year, and we'll talk about the 2020 yeah. films and stuff. That's right. <clears throat> if that's still in there at that time, I'll, I'll be amazed. <laughs> I'll be fucking amazed, and then I'll probably I'll still say that it'll bomb. It'll terrible. bomb. Yeah. <laughs>